Hello everyone. Uh, Mario the Pie Man here, playing a bit more Star Trek Online. I know this has become kind of a Star Trek Online channel. I will try to throw another couple of videos in for random things, but just the easiest ones to do at the moment. So, we are rejoining Doug um, and his original series adventures. We, are, we have played through the TOS part, we are now actually playing through on the USS Nomad the Federation campaign. So, uh, we'll play through this until it uh, dovetails with the uh, standard campaign, at which point we will go back to only Drakara. Um, now if you remember our last mission we've got, uh, we're dealing with a slightly iffy Klingon called Bavat, who's doing something weird with weapons, and we were sent to this system apparently uh, by our intelligence people. Um, I wonder which TOS episode we'll be referencing here. Um, let's find out. I actually remember liking these episodes quite a bit. We're counting on you. So, oh yes, not as so much voice. They have actually done some rework on this, but there's still a lot of unvoiced stuff. She's saying we've arrived in the Donia system. Uh, they have to contact Bavat's fleet and the T's in one of these vessels. I'm expecting some sort of code transmission, but I'm not receiving. So, direct reports, we disable the ships and board it. Let's go. Probably deal with the one that's actually flying as opposed to the ones that are in space dock. Runs very TOS setup. So we're disabling to capture. Oh, whoops. Uh, my bad. I can't remember if they do anything or if they are just sitting with space stuff, but I should probably just deal with this one. Of that temporal thing. Yep. Possibly there's an achievement for that or something, but let's not go there. So, yep, we've disabled all the parts for ship. We're sending our boarding parties and we can join whenever we're ready. Let's go. Uh, she's coordinating the board party movements. Teams are reporting that Targ is running with a skeleton crew. There have been a few skirmishes. Show much difficulty in securing the ship. So we are actually still capturing. Boarding action. But we do have our own people. You can see the Starfleet crew in there having a bit of a punch up. Intended to press. Just trying to pick up loot. Into the Klingon engineering deck they designed, which I quite like. Just I like the way they made it different from the Federation one, where the power cores kind of more across the way. Particularly, still seems a bit big for my mind for a bird of prey, but uh, I quite like this. It's quite a nice map, better than map. Again, just to make it will look suitably different to a Federation engineer. Yeah, Dead ground secure, but they're supporting a few Klingon lives on the bridge. They've locked down the turbo list, but now it will hold engineering with take control of the entire system. So, so we'll use the turbo lift near my location. Hang on, why didn't it beam anyone else on? Appears to have just sadly interrupted a Klingon in his plumeek soup. Which is a Vulcan delicacy, but can I just beam to these guys?
Oh, that was the captain. Oh. Oh. He doesn't know. Okay, we'll access the ship's logs. Whatever you need, sir. So the bridge and the ship are secure, the remaining Klingons are being transported. Commander Bridges said there was no information. Terminal, but yes, that's what I'm looking at. Captain's personal log. I have been betrayed by my first officer. Oh dear. A man I consider my friend. Kavar. Why? He and a group of traitors tried to take the ship. Kavalk is the only survivor. There is also evidence that Kavalk sent a coded message to Federation space. I do not understand why a warrior I have trusted with my life would do this. He tried to explain, but I do not need to listen to the words of a traitor. So you, you want to bridge. understand why he did this, Ambassador but you won't listen to him. Has ordered me to bring him to the Imago system for questioning. Kavok will die screaming. Or singing. It or is dancing. not an honorable death. But it is the one Kavok deserves. Well, I suppose we're going to the brig then. Big brig. This is awfully big for a bit of brig. I won't speak to three or four. Feel like a cage animal. Like maybe we could talk. Okay. This is probably not a sus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You are my enemy, but today you are my only hope. Okay. We will redeem my honor. So why are you in the brig? Well, actually, I'm I not. was once the first officer of this ship. I served the house of Bavart loyally and well, and fought by my captain's side in battle. I thought I was living an honorable life, and then I learned what Ambassador Bavart's plans for the war were. I could not let Bavart do such no. a thing. To unleash such a weapon upon the galaxy for his own ends is the act of a coward, not a boy. I gathered a small group of officers who thought as I did. Our plan was to take over the ship and fly it to the Imaga system. There, we would either stop this doomsday Doom or mm -hmm. What could it be? In I tried to take this ship. I failed. Now I am dishonored. And I must redeem myself or die. Do you have more questions? So why did you contact Starfleet Intelligence? When my plan to take the TAR was discovered, I knew I had to act quickly. The Vought has much more than the experimental weapons from the base in the Briar Patch. He has a oh. planet killer. A ship of such destructive power that nothing can stand against it. He intends to use a doomsday this machine? doomsday machine to yes. attack Federation. That's what I said. I find myself in a strange place to regain. I mean, I think you're kind of making this up as you go along, if I'm honest. With my enemy. I sent a coded message to the solar system and hoped that the right person would hear. Well, you they did. Why, why do you think Bavat's doing this? Bavat is obsessed with conflict. He believes that the Klingon Empire mm. will stagnate well, he's one of those, eh? into degeneration and ruin unless they have enemies to fight. Without war, Bavat believes that we will destroy our Bavat found the planet here. And he so someone leave it lying around. to learn how to control it. Now, he plans to attack and destroy one of your worlds. The Ambassador knows the Federation wants peace. To be honest, none of our hearts are in this war. Where billions die. Would something so heinous make you want revenge? Oh, well, maybe. If he succeeds, the war between our peoples will be endless. And the bot will have won. Do you have more questions? So, what is this planet killer? It is a ship with no crew. Its hull is Yes, it was the one from the Doomsday Machine I was hinting at. It fires beams of pure anti-protons and fuels itself with the hopes of destroyed planets. Weapons are useless against it. The planet killer well, it's not is the one from the Doomsday Machine. I have heard stories that your star fleet defeated a device similar to this long ago. I hope that you will be able to defeat this one as well. Do you have more questions? Where did he find it? Floating hulk deep in the Ta'ang Nebula. 
ships from his house searched for months before they found it. The Bot claims to have knowledge of the future. Oh, he can't says that, that is why he knew the planet killer would be found in the nebula. Its location is forecast. I do not know if this is true. If our actions cannot change our path, then are we imprisoned? I don't know. That's all philosophical. Was I destined to lose my honor and betray my captain? Do you have more questions? So Bavat so knows please. about the future. I was once one of the bot's most valuable Really? <laughs> Imagine time travel, Many that's ridiculous. He spoke of a temporal cold pool. What, temporal agents? Yeah. <laughs> used people in the past, each trying to change history for their own ends. One of them, the Nakul, tried to use us. Yeah, I've heard of that and the Nakul. Then you know what their treacherous ways. Yep. The Nakul tried to curry favor with the Empire in the past to prove their power. They revealed much of what was to come, but they wanted to like a lackey, not allies. Our ancestors listened and recorded what they heard, and they spat in the Nakul's faces Good on them. and sent them back to their own time empty-handed. Klingons will never be willing slaves. Since then, the knowledge that the Nakul provided has been preserved by a small cabal of Klingons. This organization ruled from the shadows using what they knew was forecast to guide the future of the Empire. Bavak is the last. He has no sons and trusts no one. Ah, I see. When he dies, all that came from the Nakul dies with Does him. it now? Do you have more questions? Right. What was your plan to stop it? Bavak had a plan to stop the Doomsday Machine if he ever lost all right, control. Alright, had that. This ship is equipped with Hawk Pang torpedoes. So you might have seen these have in my Romulan playthrough. Can't remember which sequence will come in. The planet killer is hidden in the Imaga system now. My plan was to fly to the system, disable the Vat's control of it, and then use the weapons on this ship to destroy it. Yeah, fair enough. Do you have more questions? Why can't we just end a foot stop it? The Vat's forces have total control over the Imaga system. To keep any ships but those loyal to him away, the Vat has installed a series of generators that maintain an energy drain, much like the green weapon that disabled ships during the Dominion War. The Vat ships have been modified to withstand its drain. Any uh, others that clever. Do you have more questions? What should we do now? Okay. Repair this ship and we will fly it to Imbaga together. Okay. Then we can disable the energy drain so your fleet can enter. Yep, okay. With your help, we can destroy the Doomsday Machine. I prefer it without my help, but okay. To your Federation. Right, let's do that then. So, yeah, transmission from Earth. Right, let's see. Use the terminal. Right, I've got to go to the radio room. I can't just take it down here now. Back to the room. Not on the bridge either, no? no. Someone should probably put those fires out. Don't leave a ship on fire. So, contact Starfleet. Oh no, it's a cutscene. Here's the situation, so what are your orders? Do what you think is best. It's risky, but Kavalk may be our best chance to stop Bavat and this planet killer. Mm -hmm. I'm notifying all available ships to change course for Imaga. Yeah. Once the energy train is ticked taken off, he jumped over his shoulder. They'll move in to support you. I don't need to tell you how important it is to stop the Doomsday Machine well, before Bavat can use it to attack popular it anyway. worlds. Millions of people are relying on you to save them. No, no pressure, then. I know you can do it. Good luck. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Captain McKinnon to Lieutenant Van Zeele. Yes, Send a repair team and a bridge crew over. We'll be using this ship. Understood. I'll join you shortly. Thank you. So, alright, yeah, we'll warp to the MAGA system. I'm monitoring communications from the planet. They're not calling for ships, so either they haven't noticed us, or they think we're supposed to be here. We're safe for now, but that could change. Oh, right. We need to scan one of the generators maintaining the energy drain to get all the information oh, I need course to we do. finish a new command program. Be careful. Bavat trusts no one, not even his own men. 
He may have defenses in this system. Even I don't know about. Well, there's definitely going to be defenses. Still, we get to fly over to prey. Um, you'll have maybe seen one of these elsewhere, but they actually do quite a nice model of it, and they also do a neat little animation. Um, you'll see it when we go into battle. The wings actually do drop down. So let's scan generator alpha. There are drones, which mostly explode. Not particularly good drones. Oh wait, oh one survived. See how the wings are nipped down? Quite neat. Just nice attention to detail. We have to do this a couple of times I'm afraid. Well, what attack does? Drones? Ah, uh, the must have upgraded the security. Yeah, apparently Scanning so. Scanning the generators now. I have the data. Good stuff. We will need to load the control program into all three generators. After that, we can change the command codes from a terminal on the planet's surface. Well, that sounds overly complicated. Like a slightly dodgily designed game mission. That's one down. Let's go to Generator Bravo. Of course we're going to fight more of those drone things, but uh, that's where we are. I feel I can never see these drones. They get too close. I think they're based on a on fighter design. It's like kind of hitting them with the biggest apart with the highest yield torpedo ever invented. Seems like a bit of overkill for us in the fence drone. Alright, let's go to Charlie. Yeah, I'd probably just leave the wing down, wings down, guys. All three of them done. The generators are under our control. Yay. But your ships won't be safe until we lock Bavat and his forces out of the command consoles. I've equipped your away team cool. with hollow projectors, and they're ready for the mission. And Captain, remember that you're a Klingon now. And a Wombo. Try not to look too out of place. Let's land the ship. Maybe I'm a bit short for a Klingon? I don't know, he's told me up. The objective here is simple. Find a control console and change the command codes. Then Bavat won't be able to stop us from shutting Good down stuff. the energy drain. There are two consoles. The Alpha console is staffed by an officer. Who I've might never be found that actually works. Negotiate. The Beta console. Let's just say that Commander Top prefers <laughs> fighting to talking. The soldiers here shouldn't challenge you, but be careful of the TARS. The hollow emitters won't fool them. I have another task to complete. Meet me back okay. here when you are done with the command force. I, I can't remember which is which, so let's just pick one. Oh, we've also got to investigate his temporal probe. Uh, temporal probe. So plenty to do. So the gist of it is we've got to do this, we've got to go up to these things, but we've got to watch out there will be groups of Klingons leading Targs. And we've got to try and stay away from them. You see this lot here? No Targs. Absolutely fine. Walk past them. Look at me, yes, yes. Honour to you. I like honour. Ooh, 
This box got something honourable in it. I'd like some honour from this box, please. Well, yeah. surprise me there. Yes, very honourable. Thank you. Whoop, don't mind that. Ah, now you see there's a targ, so we have to try and get out of its way before we get detected by the targs. Oh, well, I got out of the way. Stealth! How are you doing, stealth? I'm stealthy. I wonder where the temporal probe is. Hello, don't mind me. Just Klingoning about here. Hope not to check both sides just to find this bloody temporal probe. Giant mushroom pliers, apparently. Klingon very clone to Mushroom Kingdom. to watch because yes they're fine they're just guards guarding this will probably trigger some more targs by scanning some gas but again you know there's gas lying around I should be more careful Oop, I hit an invisible wall there I don't have Quite a few invisible walls around here. They're very strange. In fact, yes. Oh! I think they've redesigned this level. I wonder if I just jump. Yes, there's literally. Yes, the building's not. There is a meant to be a building here, but for some reason. Yeah, there's meant to be a building in there. So. Captain, I've been monitoring your progress from the ship. You are very close to one of the control consoles. There are Klingons where you okay, need to well. go. You will either need to convince them to leave their post, or find other means of getting access. Yeah, uh, let's see. The Empire will prevail. No one is allowed to use this console. Stand aside. You've lost Empire. your building. Fine. Yes, it was. Excellent. Mine was as well. I have smashed the device that Babat used to control his doomsday machine. The planet killer is now as dangerous to him and his ships as it is to anyone else. You cannot control the storm. Oh, very wise. If you try, it will consume you. Meet me back at the ship. There is still more to do before this dark day ends, and my honor is restored. Okay. I'm actually going to have a look around for this temporal probe. I'm going to point at something over here. Oh, a crate. Oh. Again, it is the downside. It's why I'm not particularly keen on all of these temporal probe things. So there are two anomalies. I've got to remember that that building isn't actually there. Are those targs coming this way? Can I? Going down that way. And we are looking for a kind of glowy thing. Oh, there's another crate. I hope that does actually lock onto temporal probes. Be very annoyed if it doesn't. Still reading two anomalies. Hmm. I can see one of them. That oh, looks like some or uh targs. Targs. 
more targs. Let's see something else. See, there should have been one of these over there as well. But I will actually try to clean up all the things so that we can find... I'm not just doing this to collect doors, but uh, it does help as well. So I can find this temporal probe. Quite like that dinky little walk the targs are doing. They change direction. It's in there somewhere, apparently. It's a box. I want a temporal probe. You're just finding the boxes. Apparently there's something off this direction. It's another box. Getting pretty sick of boxes here. Again, hopefully they have put it somewhere you'd go, but you're never quite sure. Some of these game designers think it's more fun to hide stuff from you. Oh. There is an anomaly, but you're not going to point me towards it. Yeah, Targs. I like the fact that none of the, oh no, I was going to say none of these Klingons have noticed. Yeah, this is getting a bit out of hand now. I saw some guys arguing over that gravity thing. Let's head back down and hope that we don't miss the temporal probe. Good grief. You guys are the worst. You're the least stealthy people I know. Try not to attack any random Klingons while we're here, okay? What's the best pointing at another box? Seems to be pointing us down the hill, so that's promising. It's lovely that you can see your Klingon ship. some geranium sadly. There's some guy shouting down a hill. Aha! There's the temporal probe, nearly missed it. How do we get it there? I think anyone knows that I'm carrying a Starfleet phaser rig. Yep. Let's scan this chronal distortion. Yep, there it is. What are they? What? simple logic puzzle that we have. Oh, it's this one. So, 
it's like Wordle. Actually, we might date this video, so we change that to one. Test it. Nope. So there are no ones in it. Change. Oh, hang on. Still no ones in it. Hang on. Change first digit to two. Test. Right, it's right digit, wrong location. So change second digit to two. Test it. Right, okay. Third digit to two. Okay, fourth digit. There we go. So now we go back to the first one. Change that to three. Excellent. Change the second digit. We'll also change that to three. No. Second digit to four. No. Second digit to five. So in fact, I think the third digit should be a five as well. There we go. We'll update on the probe from what so you're seeing. The probe provided Klingons with technology to control the Doomsday Machine. They approached Corn 2216, but he refused their offer. Klingon pride. So we've got a plan regarding Bavat to prevent it from happening again. Well, wonderful. Grab the data and purge this probe. Anyway. Oh. oh, and a cool commander. Got to fight the distortion first. Quite a high ranking. The I can set your ground on fire. There you go. Don't mind us. Uh, just it's friendly sparring. Whoop! Looks like something's kicking off here. Hey, Bivat. You, you big <laughs> laugh. You stumbled into my trap in the briar patch <laughs> like a blind grizzly cat. Your base exploded, though. Luring stuff and chips to my testing grounds. The yeah. doomsday machine will destroy them. It would create glorious, endless war and strife. And it is all possible because of you. Well, I like to be of help. No, oh. I will not allow you to dishonor the Empire with your thirst for blood. We fix our enemies as warriors for fox. We do not massacre innocents with machines of death. There are no innocents. There are only the strong and the weak. Are you strong enough to fight your own weapon? I have destroyed the device controlling the planet killer. Ha. Uh, in your no face. No one is safe. This isn't over. Warriors, attack! Joel, eat you! Fight, 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 fight. Yoo hoo, behind you. Mm, just a regenerator and some sneak peel. Oh, I can't even hear it. Board the ship. Captain. Going on calm traffic. <coughs> Sorry. The bot's forces have lost control of the doomsday machine, and they are scrambling all available ships yeah, to I try to stop it. Yeah, wonder what I've been in contact with Commander Burgess. Now that the energy drain won't affect our ships, the Starfleet task force is inbound. We need to get back into space as soon as possible. Well, let's go. Into space we go. I see it. The bot's planet killer is here. Maybe it has a weakness that we haven't found yet. We need to run a scan. Go to the navigation beacon. That should be close enough for the scan, but far enough away to keep us safe until the Okay, arrive. let's do that. There's our doomsday machine. Looking actually it's slightly better than it did in TOS, but you know, we kept the gist of it. Um, I don't know if you ever saw there was a fan film which made it kind of all wavy and undulaty. Oh. That's not looking good. Oh. 
Ooh. I hope they didn't need that then. Damage report. Structural integrity holding, sir. We're shook up, uh -huh. but we'll be okay. Captain, there's an unauthorized shuttle launch. It's it's Kavok. Are you even big Can't enough to have a in, shuttle? Sir. I'll put it on the main screen. Stay where you are, Captain. I'll handle this. Kavok, turn that shuttle around. You'll be killed. My life is of no consequence. But my honor. No, I must do this. Must you? Destroying this abomination is the only way to redeem myself. Farewell, Captain. Koi, Kalis, Poo, Blood, Koi, Hook, Bang, Poo, Yako, Mako, Se, Shu, Gui, Se, Machu, Me, Mashu, Mana, it's Mako, Chu, Nipe, Gimma, Shako, Ku! He did quite well there of making a dramatic little scene with the in-game engine. I thought that was quite neat. Oh well. I'm mm. reading significant damage to the doomsday machine, sir. But it's still active. Well, he died in vain. Captain, we still have the Harpang torpedoes. We do indeed. It might be enough to finish the job. The machine's hull is solid neutronium, so targeting it won't help. We'll need to fly in front of the Doomsday Machine. And, and see if you're doing any other missions. Down that thing's throat. See any group missions of Doomsday Machines. Stop it. shooting but at it. We need to be careful. If we're in front of it when it fires its anti-proton beam, we won't fare any better than that moon did. There is, there is still here. Oh, no it's not. Yep. Yep. And there's the two fleets fighting, so this is our bit. It's actually quite good, they've changed it, they have made it a bit more puzzly. We've got, you know, it's not just a simple shoot it, we've got to actually get these things into it, but at the same time make sure that we're not caught in its beam. And that takes a few seconds to, uh, to cool down. Oh. It's being raised fire, so we're always going to be behind it. I guess I know I'm not able to damage it with a fire. Too soon in front of it, but tried using the evasive maneuvers there. I stopped shooting its hull, did you not read the briefing? Maybe a little class ship there. around a bit. That's a hit. A good hit. Sadly we are getting shot at. I think I'll have a miss. Oh, well, maybe not. Just get this. I like the way they did do a kind of breaking apart Captain, effect. Commander Burgess is patching a subspace signal through to us. The message is from Kronos, sir. Routing it to the main view screen now. Okay. Captain, my name is Commander. Hi. 
while the Empire realizes that you played a vital role in defeating a threat to both our worlds. I am afraid I must insist that you return the ship you stole immediately. Okay. I would not want to have to escalate this into something that we will both regret. Oh, a war. Battle is over. We do not need to begin another. But we're at war. But okay. It might be best to do what he asks, Captain. Yeah, fair the enough. fleet's in no condition for a prolonged fight, sir. And honestly, there's not much about the bird of prey specifications that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't know already. Okay. We did what we came here to do. Let the Klingons have their little victory, and the fleet can take you and your crew back to your ship. I. The important thing is that the fish under machine the door was destroyed. Forwards. I'm sure Commander Burgess will want to congratulate you for a job well done. Okay. Ah, we're stealing it. See you later, losers. That's just your end of thing. I assume we take it out of system, be monitored, and then naff off. That's what I'll see. Kavolt's loss is unfortunate, but he did what he believed he had to do. In the end, he died with honor. He did indeed. Fortunately, you were able to destroy the Doomsday device and end the threat of Bavat's weapons programs. We probably haven't seen the last of him, but... At least now he's disarmed. At least as much oh, as any yes. Klingon, that is. And don't worry about having to return the IKS Targ to the Klingons. I don't believe that there's yeah, much about that. that class of bird Could prey have that Starfleet to Intelligence or something. doesn't already know. If getting the ship back lets the Klingons think they've won a small victory, I don't mind. Well, I do. And you shouldn't either. There are very few captains who can say they faced a threat like you did today and lived to tell One. the tale. Impressive work. So we get to get some shields. Probably go for the resilient shields and oh we got a new officer. What have we got? We have three science, two engineering, two attack. So I suppose we're looking to see who you want. Human tactical or an alien. I'm gonna go for the human. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Derek! Well, he is definitely a person. Yes, you can join. I'm changing his uniform to the one, so. Be back after a bit of Space Barbie. Now, well, that's a Space Barbie to him. You've done well. I know. While there are still issues at the Klingon front, it's time to move to a bigger picture. Come see me at Earth Space Dock for new information. In fact, we will quickly do this one. How far are we from the ESD? We'll just transwarp there. We might as well see what he wants to do. You've done excellent work Thank so you. far, so I want to expand the range of your mission profiles. There are trouble spots all over the galaxy. 
good Starfleet captain never shies from engaging with trouble and trying to solve problems. Within the bounds of the Prime Directive, of course. Of course. You'll find patrols and systems scattered all across the quadrant, where enemy ships or local problems need help. We also have trouble spots in other parts of the galaxy, such as Nimbus 3, Drozana Station, and the Defera system. Okay. Check into these kinds of trouble spots as time permits. Understood. So that's us completed our mission path. Pick up Damar Khan on Starbase 114 and bring him to Starbase 39 Sierra. Starbase 114 is located in the Celis system in the Beta Quadrant. Okay, so I'm just going to quick check of the upcoming episodes. So, we have finished um, part of the mission arc. We are now going on to the Romulan part, the Federation part of the Romulan missions. Uh, a bit different from the Romulans that you might see already. So, we are not quite done with Doug yet, and indeed we won't be for a bit longer. But, um, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to tell me what you think of it, um, please like and well, please mention the comments or on Twitter at, at pieman70, capital P, capital N, the number 70. Um, I Also, please like and subscribe. I think I've always got to remember to tell people to do that. And I will be back with more. You will still be seeing more of Doug. I also do have a Klingon character on the go where I'm recording some. So, once... Uh, Doug's out of the way. Um, I will uh, be going through the Klingon campaign and showing you that part as well until it crosses over with this. Like I say, if we look at the mission journal um, just here, so we have done Agents of Yesterday and the Klingon War part. And a normal Federation, you'd have a different tutorial there. We do have these, so we've got some Romulan episodes. And then when we come to this one, The Vault, if I remember rightly. Um, and that one we join up with the standard Romulan missions so it kind of uh, no matter who you are this is when kind of all the stories dovetail if I remember correctly but I have to check in the Klingon story these ones are part of the Klingon uh, chain as well uh, it's just the Romulans have a different sequence to go through that and after that basically everything's there what we will come back for is actually parts of the yesterday's war and future proof is where we'll come back with Doug but I'll talk about that later so like I say again hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe talk to me etc etc but uh, I will hopefully see you next time but until then bye for now